This is Twit. I think the truth is that we're to the point now where it's too late. It's not even worth having the conversation. Face ID is and face authentication and face everything is here to stay forever. Mm. It's like... We we're, were not going to go though. back. I know that you know some some governments want to ban yeah, it. We were talking That's temporary. That. They'll bring it back later. It's when cutesy it's... marketing too. Well, there's well, there's different. There's there's certainly a difference between facial recognition to unlock your device and facial recognition used uh, by you, police you, on the street, used by law enforcement, or yeah. used by private companies <clears throat> for retail and marketing purposes. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's and and I think one of the real the challenges. State, the state of California has banned law enforcement from using. Until safety. until 2022. And the theory is, the real problem is false positives, people of color, uh, exactly. women are not uh, accurately you know, represented. So until we can fix it, let's not use it. Right. right. I think that's sensible. But they will fix it. Don't sure. you think, though, Seth, if you're Taylor Swift, we know Taylor Swift uses this in her stadiums. There's huh. people stalking her. There's oh, face recognition right. used at the gates to make sure those people don't enter sure. the stadium. Oh my I, gosh, that really? does not seem bad to me. No, I think I think there are legitimate uses of facial recognition. I think that there has to be a much more robust public debate about what those are. I think that relying on lawmakers who have struggled for you know decades to figure out how to construct a decent password uh, to to be leading this debate is a problem, but. I also feel that it's a problem for the tech companies to be leading the debate because they have a financial investment in this that goes far beyond anything else. Um, I, I think there's more, I, I think this is actually emblematic of a massive problem with tech, which is that the more advanced tech gets, the harder it becomes to accurately talk about what the problems with it are and figure out who the stakeholders are and figure out what the responsibility should be. There's there's no discussion except in a few rarefied circles of the ethics of, of what's going on. That worries me deeply. Um, and, you know, and, 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 and I think overall that we are not really, we as a, as a, as a country and we as a society are not really talking about what we want this for, what we don't want this for. Do we want it to stop Taylor Swift being stalked? Sure. Nobody wants her to be stalked except for her stalkers. Um, <laughs> right. uh, but what else? Do we want to be walking past, uh, uh, you know, T-shirts in, in a shopping Hello, mall? Hello, Mr. Anderton. Right. And then, and then have, you know, your phone vibrate with ads for a discount for T-shirts. That sounds horrible. What's the price? Who cares? My, my, my point. Well, no, my point is the public will care because people will give away their privacy for three dollars, uh, and and but but that's why it's up to us geniuses here on Mount Olympus to make these decisions. For so them. so you opt in, right? Well, the the biggest confusion around face recognition technology is that it's all lumped together. So, for example, the way you you, you need to use Jin Yang's like not hot dog method for weeding out stalkers mm -hmm. you don't recognize everyone who comes in it's like oh there's there's so and so there's so and so no mike, mike has just made an obscure reference yes. to silicon valley i brought that up to the andrew arena by the way oh, just fantastic out there. fantastic <laughs> no but it's like not stalker not stalker not stalker meet 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 stalker. stalker right that we can all get behind that approach yeah. to face id there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not trying to identify everybody and have What's a keep wrong a record with it, though is the police use it and uh, every other black man is identified as a perp even though yeah. he's not just because he's African American, that's problematic. Sure, it's absolutely problematic, and it's great that they banned it for that reason. It's also emblematic but, but, of a larger systemic issue. Well, yeah, sorry. So, <laughs> in other words, it's exactly like it was before when they were using their own. Right. Yeah. And, and we and, <laughs> we, and, like and we have to consider tech companies developing uh, technology, especially something like facial recognition, not using it in, say, the U.S. or other countries that have uh, more advanced debates about what the technology is for, and then selling that technology for uses that we would be abhorred by. Um, and, and, and again, these, these conversations are not happening by and large. Uh, the technology is being forced on people. Um, and, and I think, again, that, that, that without the conversations about ethical impact and how it is that we want to proceed, we're going to wind up in a situation very similar to where we are with privacy and other things where, where there's issues of community standards, there's issues of what privacy means. Um, now in Android 10, you can you now have a nuanced option for choosing which apps uh, you've installed can uh, can uh, use your GPS and, and, and locate you and tell. I yes. love that, by the way. Which is Apple's great. Apple's doing that, but too. But why didn't they do it back in Android 4? 
Well, you know what I mean? Like, like, like we didn't, we didn't say anything. We, we, we were so innocent. We weren't annoyed then. yet. We were. Sephora I mean, wasn't coming after us and going, there's a Sephora down the block from you. Did you know? Th- there's there's we'll location. see, we'll see, we'll see. This, this is the point is that people may say, oh, sure, for $3 or whatever, I'm happy to give away my privacy yeah. because you're giving me 15% off on, on a t-shirt. But I, I actually suspect that once people's phones are vibrating or yeah. doing whatever, notifying them that there's these discounts, who cares? No one's going to care. Mm-hmm. It's going to be an overwhelming deluge yeah. of nonsense. And there, there's, it's worse than that, too, because, like, we're, we, you know, people in Marin County are all concerned, like, oh, we, we, we don't want face recognition used by the lo- local city council. I'm exaggerating here. But then, like, TikTok, who knows if TikTok is not scanning everybody's sure. face and just beaming that, that, sure. that biometric data back to, to, to Beijing. To Part the- of the problem is that uh, most people aren't technically <coughs> sophisticated enough to know what the consequences might be. That's right. It's too complicated. And, and nor necessarily should they. <laughs> no. Right? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I don't feel like, you know... Well, we do our best. I think all of us do our best to let the public know what's going on. Well, that's our job. <laughs> that's our job. They're not particularly, they don't seem particularly interested. Or- well, I try to have this conversation mm-hmm. with my gal pals. Like, we'll talk about, the, you know, I what try to I talk say? to them about, well, the on the subject of, like, the marketing that kind of hits you mm-hmm. all the time. They're like, well, I don't mind that, like, mm-hmm. Facebook is taking my data, for instance, and, like, you know, uh, sending me this stuff because it just makes the stuff that much easier. And then I say, well, but how would you, f- but how do you feel knowing that that stuff is getting sold to companies to, like, push things towards you to, like, get your money? And then when you say it in that way like and that's not a difficult thing to say that's Mm -hmm. a very like Mm -hmm. obvious kind of little statement to put out there and that's when the person goes oh yeah that's a good point and And then it's it's when the person goes let's not invite Flo over (laughs) here she's She's such a a Debbie Downer Debbie Downer you know you know sometimes I get that but you know what I feel like sometimes (laughs) we are telling horror stories to people who just say no this is all great what are you doing well but then I tell my friends I go listen guys it's okay listen because Sephora is always after me when I'm near Sephora I know you see, this is not a problem I have. They, I don't they know. won't let you forget. No, Do I was I was in another phone? makeup store the other day in LA uh, called Riley Rose, and they were like, you know, there's Sephora one block away so at you, the mall next to you. Hypothetical. You actually get notifications. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I. Do you have a Sephora it. app? You did. You yeah, must have. I, I am a very big part of the Sephora community. <laughs> I am. I mean, and they actually just just to give them credence, yeah. they're very technically like they're one of the highest kind of technically uh, inclined companies, especially in kind of the the uh, marketed to women realm. Mm-hmm. And so they did this as a way to kind of be like, this is how to like get more people in the door and to like come to the classes and to come try on makeup. And it works. And you don't I'm, mind. And I, <laughs> You've I, embraced it. I am just like, all right, Sephora, shut up. <laughs> Dismiss. But you didn't delete the app. <laughs> no, I'm still, and I didn't tell it not to have location and access through location. my Android 10 I do like it that both iOS 13 and Android 10 are now telling you that apps are following you and giving you the option. Oh, they bug you too. Like yeah. Android bugs you and they're like, are you sure you want Instagram to open every time yeah. you hit an Instagram link? Are you sure about this? Yeah. And I'm like, yes. But I actually, See, they're going to be the unwelcome guests soon, right? It's going to be like, I, stop I, I, get it. I, I, after years and years and years of not having these features, I appreciate that. I do I, I want the, I mean, yeah. for, for things like links, yeah. you have, you know, you, you do have to choose. And then once you, if you choose to, to, to ask you every time. We into the settings to do well, it. No, one of the things I like, in, at least for me on 10, is that it's been asking me about once a day with a different app each time, whether it's GPS or links And I'm finding out that apps, like there's some, some apps I have. I have a little uh, thermal printer that I use just to like print out stupid things. Mm-hmm. And apparently, and it's a it's a Chinese app, and uh, apparently it has access to my location. I don't know why. Why do you have access to that? It's yeah. it's a locally stored printer. It's like, probably worse than that. They may also have access to every single file you print. <laughs> yeah. That has happened. Well, all I print is like memes and stuff, so <laughs> yeah. it's fine. You print memes? Uh, we don't need to follow Listen, her anymore. No, I'm She's a, I'm a, a bullet journaler. I like to like, I like physical media and okay. pasting it inside a journal. I'm, okay. That's how if, I- if you ever get an invitation to join Fancy Bear or the Russian Troll Factory, just, you know, that may be why. I'm just saying. She's good with memes. Yeah, someone's got to be. I'm already Eastern European, I'm, so I know yeah, the Russians. Yeah, exactly. 